Hey, it's Ranger 374 coming to you from the Bass Cave, and I got a little Plano Edge review for you. Um, first off, I want to say that um, I'm quarantining. I'm actually positive for the virus, and uh, it's kind of messed up my um, my whole next couple weeks right now. I had a club tournament scheduled that I was ready for. I'm actually missing it. Uh, this weekend and I'm pretty disappointed in that besides just the fact of missing work and um, you know eventually probably not getting paid for it um, but besides that um, had the Ranger all fired up seen it in a previous video as ready to go until this hit and uh, it's no joke um, turns the light switch off on you and you just lose everything uh, no energy but I'm doing a little better now. Uh, first four days were kind of rough. But anyhow, um, got some time. I'm going to make some few videos. Um, first one, you know, is on this Plano Edge box, which I'm sure everybody's heard of. Um, you know, I was kind of excited when they came out. New design, you know, new latching system, all that. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to check them out. I've been around for a long time at Plano since the, you know, late 70s, um, early 80s when I started really getting them. But got these edge boxes and, you know, I've had all winter to mess around with stuff and put stuff in new boxes. But I carry a lot of 3600s in a, in a Shimano duffel bag uh, to keep everything separated. And I got, you know got one of these 3600s to check out and you know after trying to transfer some baits from my flambos which are my tried and trues I've been using these for years these flambo boxes with the z-rust in them I'm sure everybody's probably seen them at your local Wally World uh, that's pretty much where I get them from this is a 3600 size um, and that's what I basically carry those but when I went to transfer some baits over to this 3600 first thing off the bat I noticed these things are way shallower than a 3600 flambeau box um, you can put one square bill height wise pretty much maybe you can jam two into it um, show you. I got yeah, I got one of my one of my 3600s that's jammed up with a bunch of medium depth crankbaits. Maybe you can see this one, but yeah, you know, it's pretty well jammed up. Um, those are some bigger lip baits, and it's your regular 3600 box. And I'm gonna say there's three, six, nine, twelve, twenty. Yeah, there's 25, 26 baits in this thing. And those are medium size. They aren't my square bills. Um, but with this Plano Edge box, if you put the separations in it, you know, you get 3, 6, 9, you get 12 spots that hold one square bill each. Now, if you take them dividers out, you know, you can probably jam two, maybe three more in the whole thing. So, um, but there's no separation and, you know, stuff's all jammed together. Um, I don't know. Um, I was just disappointed when I tried to go from this to this. Didn't work. Um, couldn't fit nearly the amount of baits in and be organized as I wanted to. Um, that being all said, that's with the 3600, and you know, you can see this box is definitely thinner, definitely thinner, and definitely has a height problem compared with the 
you know, Flambeau Zeros boxes. So, you know, that's where my first thing came down. Um, one bright note is they came out with this, you know, chatterbait box, basically. Um, and it's pretty sweet. Um, it holds jigs or chatterbaits. Um, I guess you could get some spinner baits in here. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. These are just some chatterbaits I've been putting in there. And not sure how well they hold up if you, if you turn them vertical and uh, they bounce around. But I keep this one flat. I just keep it for storage. And I uh, actually keep one of these full of chatterbaits right now to carry with me. But anyhow, that box was pretty decent. And um, I got one other box. It's a deep box. It's an edge. It's, you know, pretty nice. So, but as far as these 3600s go, I know I paid, you know, just over 20 bucks for this box. Okay, right off the bat there. If I can't put as many baits as I can in this, by the way, I pay less than five bucks for one of these boxes at Wally World. I'm sure you can get them other places for the same price, but I paid four, four seventy for that box. Can hold a ton of baits, twenty plus for this box. Um, got a terminal box that's the same size, thirty six hundred terminal box. And I should drag it out, but it's the same size, same exact size. It was forty bucks, forty bucks for this same box, but they call it a terminal box. Just bought it because I wanted to check it out and had the same problem. It's too shallow. Can't hold half as much as you want. It's just too shallow. I'll use it for a pond hopping box for terminal, but no way it can hold my boat terminal. So anyway, just pretty disappointed on the 3600, you know, sizes on the Plano Edge. Uh, 3700, you know, like the this one. You know, it's a lot thicker, a lot bigger, obviously. You know, it's going to hold some baits, but um, if you're looking for something that's uh, smaller, you know, throw in your backpack, duffel bag, something, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still stick with these, and I'm going to go back up to Wally World and buy another case of them because they are just bulletproof, and if you do crack one for 4 bucks, I'm not worried about it. And they're, they're great. Nothing's ever rusted in them. Um, but the Flambeau Z Rust, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna continue to keep my square bills in. Matter of fact, I just put a bunch of um, flat sides in. Springtime, just put my flat sides in. You can mark them with blue tape and a sharpie. That's all you gotta do. Want to use it for something else? Peel it off. Put something else in them. But anyway, uh, just a little. You know, comparison, review, you know, is it worth the cash or is it trash? These 3600s, um, I'm not going to buy anymore. They're just, they're, they're pretty useless for me. You know, if you want to show off your baits in a nice clear top and keep one of them separated, fine. But, you know, I'm not for showing them, I'm for drawing them. So, but anyway, uh, that's just my take on the, the Plano Edge series. Um. Just don't think they're worth the money, and um, I'll stick with, you know, the old plastic flambos, um, or my Bass Mafias, which are money, Bass Mafias are more, but they definitely hold a lot more baits, but they're worth the money. These edges, I just don't feel are worth the money. So shop around, uh, you see everybody buying these edges, uh, I know they are, you see it all over YouTube, and um, I bought some too, but... Um, Pick and choose. Um, spend your money wisely because, you know, once you bought them, you know, you're pretty much stuck with them. I'm going to have a few of them laying around here that I'm used for storage. That's it. Um, they just, they don't fit my need in the 3600 size. I will point that one out. Just in the 3600 so far. But anyway, uh, tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Um, like and subscribe. Um, trying to get up to a couple hundred subscribers um, getting there uh, hit the thumbs up leave me a comment and uh, thanks for watching the Ranger 374 I'm out everybody stay safe